Yo, what's up, y'all? This is Fat Man Scoop, the other smooth voice of the club, the two-time Grammy Award winner. Let me make this official for you. Fat Man Scoop, Cork McClan, Internets. It's time to go with my dude, Premium Pete. Let's get focused. Let's go. Internets, let's turn up. One time, Premium Pete. Come on, everybody, get set. Let's go. It's the next episode. It's the Premium Pete Show. News, interviews, all of the info. Listen up. It's the Premium Pete Show. If you want the scoop in the low, down low, listen to the show was milk said so fuck what you heard better act like you know it's the premium pete show internet's welcome back to another episode of premium pete show sitting down with a very good fella okay uh we we we, we can say a lot of things about this dude okay but one thing we're gonna say is stand up dude okay a a, a loyal dude um and, and and somebody that i believe uh uh has made a, a pact to, to be a man of his word you know what i mean would you say all those things are true Absolutely. I mean, is, is, facts. Is, is there a couple other things you could uh, add to that? No, nah, everything you said was on point. Uh, s- facts. Somebody that has been a, a, a smooth operator for a long time, the one and only Pistol Pete, Terror Squad, Pistol Pete in the building. Kill all rats. Yo, <laughs> K-A-R. <laughs> K-A-R all day. <laughs> Yo, right off the bat, for people listening who may not know you, those who know you, I want them to learn a little bit more about you. People who don't know you, I want them to know about you. Terror Squad for people listening, man. Like, what is like you? You have over the years of me watching you. Like, I've just recently gone to to know you. Like, where we know mm-hmm. each other. But over the years of watching you, like the loyalty to TS, like n- not just meaning Fat Joe, just meaning like of repping it. Like, 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 like it's a. It's not like something like this is something you live and breathe. It's not True. something that. Like what, what for people listening who may not know, like, what is TS to you? Like, you know, TS is my family, man. It's just like uh. You know how you go home to your brothers and your sisters at home and your moms and all that? T.S., is, is, that's, that's, that's how we, we, we are family. We all just a bunch of brothers that are loyal to each other. And, and, and we just, some of us know each other for 10 years. Some of, some of us know each other for like 25 years, yeah. 30 years. So, and we just always, we always maintain the, 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 the loyalty, you know, amongst each other, like, you know, in, in every way that we can. Yeah. And, I, and I'm... I'm I'm just like that, man. I'm I'm a loyal person. I'm loyal to, I'm loyal to you, and yeah. I don't have to meet you and know you for ten years. Yeah, sure. You know sure. what I'm saying? But if you're a great person and you deserve loyalty, I'm gonna. If you never had a friend that you could actually count on and that is a loyal person, then you you got one now. Sure. That's just now. Wild. Where do you think that came from? You were, you were born in Puerto Rico, right? I was born in Puerto Rico. You came over to where the I was came to to the United States uh, to New York to the Bronx. Okay. BX to the BX. Stand up. Yeah, yeah. B- when? How, how old were you? I was four years old. Four years old. <laughs> okay. Four years old. And young and, kid. So you don't Puerto remember Rico. Puerto Rico? Like no, me. I don't really know Puerto Rico yeah. like that. I've been to Puerto Rico a few times with Joe um, to do shows and stuff like that. But I, as far as like, I got family there, but I never, been, never lived there. As far as like, stay there long, just visiting. Now the Bronx, right? You, you think about like BX. Yeah. <laughs> like growing up, like you grew up with just your mom, right? My mom's. Uh, not dad? My dad was around, but he, he wasn't around not too often. Not, he had come. He was he was not around for a long time. He was on a run from Puerto Rico for a long time. He was, like, you know, fugitive and all kind of shit. Mm-mm. So he wasn't. He, he, he was involved in a couple of He things. was involved in a couple bunch of shit. So he wasn't around all the time. But when he was around, he was around. He was just there. Mm. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't like an active father either. You know what I'm saying? Like one that'll take take you to soccer game and shit like that. Yeah, you know, yeah. I never been taken to a soccer game or to a, you know, basketball game or anything like that. You know, my father was just there. You know, I, I talk about this a lot with different, you know, people I sit down with, but you know, and and you're a very honest dude. Uh, you know, wear your heart on your sleeve. That's how I see it. You know, um, you know, did did that really bother you a lot? Like, you know what I mean? Did that like you know having pops like not. Like not having a relationship like that when you're growing yeah, up. You my fa- a- I'm gonna tell you something. I, my father's a, just saying he was there. He was just there. He was a good guy though. Like meaning he never put his hands on me. He never mistreated me. Shit like that. Um, he wasn't. He wasn't just there. Like like the way I'm there for my kids. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I go to soccer games to, for my son. I go to uh, you know. Uh, my my daughter's in violet dancing. I go to I drive I go there, you know. I, I sit there, you know, amongst all the ladies and sit there and watch my daughter. You know, I do things that my dad never done. Sure. But my father wasn't a bad guy, you know. I don't know if 
you know, his upbringing, you know, he ain't had too much to learn from. I don't know what the circumstances as far as that. But I would have loved for him to do, I would have loved for him to be a little bit more involved. Sure. Yes, I would have loved because I probably would have turned out a little bit better. Sure. You know what I'm saying? Do you remember the first time uh, you ever got in trouble, like when you were young, growing up in the Bronx? Like, did you feel like you were trouble? Wow, you told me I was a spa fit. I don't know if you know about spa, spa yeah, of course fit. I know spa fit. Okay, well, know. shit, you talking about that. Fuck. You want to go that so fucking explain, far? So explain, so how, how tough was spa fit? First of all, spa fit was tough. your journey is crazy because even Rikers. Yeah. Like, I remember your name uh, uh, was being like, they used to call you like the king of Rikers, you know? Mm-hmm. But I remember how much you like you ran Rikers. I used to hear stories about you all the time. But spa is like the junior version of it you know ju- it's like juvie you yes, know what I mean yes um, I've been in Sparfit Pius 12 now security detention I've been in on Gosha I've been in a lot of a lot of juvenile uh, detentions did you ever at that age did you ever be like did you ever know why you were like wilding out like that or getting in trouble did you ever like you, you know what yeah. I was just out of control I, don't, I can't even explain it to be honest with you I was just one of those guys that was just into shit you know I was, I was like 11 years old Let's just say 11 years old selling cocaine, mm. night rider cocaine for mm. my friends, one of my friends' mother mm. in the hood and shit like that. So, you know, running away from juvenile detention because I didn't show up at my mom's or I didn't come to my house because that was the, one of the main reasons I, I was I, I, had to, I went to Sparfit. I used to run away from my mom. I used to run away from the house. Mm. I used to, my mom sent me to the store and I come back a month later. Is there a reason? <laughs> no. I don't even know. I just go ahead on and just... Get up with my friends, and we'll rob that guy in the corner over there. We'll go to Third Avenue, man. You know shit that yeah. that I look at now. Like for instance, uh, uh, Easter. One of, one of my best friends, Easter. You know, the stores are closed for Easter. Oh, you mean the holiday? The holiday, okay. yeah. I thought you meant man. No, no, for Easter, Easter, yeah, holiday. So, you know, and. We, you know, he's like, yo, I got a couple of dollars for my mom. I want to go to movies, but it's not enough. We, damn, but I, she gave me money for some shoes. You know, I don't know what you remember the BKs. Yeah, yeah, Guys come yeah. out the trains. Pretty nice. Yeah, we got the 3rd Avenue. Stores are closed. Show sure enough. Some guy come out the uh, subway, uh, the train station right there on 3rd Avenue. Oh, shit, BKs. Those shit are like, they good for you. We pound them out, take the BKs from him. <laughs> shit like that. Go back to the hood, go to movies. Now, did you ever, like, did you ever go, when you were young, did you ever go away? Like, meaning, like, I don't mean jail. Meaning, like, did you ever, like, go on vacation? Like, do you remember your first, like, vacation no out vacation. of the Bronx? Did you, when's the first time you ever left the Bronx? Like, meaning, like, to go up to, uh, to, uh, to Elmira. So, yeah, that's <laughs> my a fucking, first time a correction I, facility. My first time I went to fucking out of, out of the Bronx, to Elmira, shit like that, you know. So never, you did never, like a total of, you know, looking back, you did a total of like how seventeen many, years. So, and then, all at once, or you did like I'm in the middle of the fucking right, in the, yeah, yeah, yeah. like I'm on a D block, you know, uh, wing D, and I'm in there with beef from everybody's like I'm like okay, but that's what usually the police do, you know what I'm saying? In 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 the, in the state, you know what I'm saying? Especially if they don't really like you, they like do certain shit, you know, to create issues and, and make the issue. Bigger, sure. You know what I'm saying? And the police didn't really like me. You know what I'm saying? I used to fight the police, be disrespectful to the police. So when it came down for me to get locked up, I was in the box. I had everybody was around me. Was they all from Brooklyn? And they all was talking mad shit, nigga. What's up? You already know. You talking that shit? You cut my man? You did that? Mm-hmm. Tomorrow we going to the yard. So the yard is like a little. It's like it's as it's, it's big as this um room here. Yeah. So, um, with that being said, I didn't have no razor. I just had got caught. From cutting somebody, I'm in, I'm in, I'm in there like police just fucked me up the day before because when they was chasing me down in, in, in the yard, I was running all over the fucking place and I had a razor and there was nowhere to put it. I put the shit in my mouth. I was cool with that. They opened my mouth. They searched me. They did all that. They couldn't find it. Um, then I thought that they wasn't watching and I kind of like tried to like went to go spit it out. And they seen that the guy in the tower was like, he has it in his mouth. Mm-hmm. And the, they, they grabbed me through my mouth. They was like, all right. And they escort me to the fucking, to the, to the showers. And I'm in the shower. And they're like, spit it out, fucker. And they're like screaming at me. And they smacked the shit out of me so fucking hard. And I was, that first time in my life, I ever I thought about swallowing the fucking razor. Mm-hmm. I was like, damn, I should swallow the shit. I was like, well, they really fucked me up. And I was really considering the shit. Like, I was like, and I was, and the motherfucker smacked me so hard. I was like, oh, shit, you can have this bitch. And they bust my whole shit up. Mm. 
Man. I got shit hanging and shit. They cut, they bust my whole shit. The razor got stuck in my shit. He smacked me and cut my whole insides. And I spit the razor out. They fucked me up, whatever. And I went to the box. So I went to the box for nothing. So when I was, I'm in the box now. I'm in around all these guys. I'm like, there's only one Spanish guy across from me. And he's the only one telling me, yo, tu tiene be feo, tu tiene be feo. I'm like, yeah, I got beef with all these niggas. He's like, okay, I got you, bro. Just wait till later on. I'm going to send you a, a line. I was like, Phew. all right, Bobby, thank you, bro. You know, he waited till the lights went off at midnight. He sent me a, he sent me a line. It was a razor. How did, how did they, they send like on a sheet, you know, like, a sheet, like send it on a sheet? No, he sent it to me on a hard on a hard cover book. Oh, okay. You know that's a hard oh, cover. Oh, throw the book. And throw the book. Yeah, you, okay. you, you yeah, get the skinny hard yeah, cover book, yeah. and then you take the sheets. Obviously, you take the little sheet, yeah, the yeah, white sheets, yeah, yeah. and you rip them all nice and thin. Yeah, yeah. And then you tie it up, and it, it'll go. It's skinny enough to go under yes, the door. Yes, yes, yes. So he threw it under the door, and it went straight to my cell. Boom. And I was like, cool. He said, "Hala," meaning pull. And I pulled, and he sent me the razor. Yeah. And 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 and, and, and so what was it like? A big razor, a small razor? Uh. It was uh, <laughs> that's my son and that's my brother. Okay, nice. nice to meet you, man. I know, I know. Nice to meet you. Uh, um, so um, how you go? It was a uh, no, it was a regular razor. Okay. Regular razor, and I came and I was like, I was like, oh shit! Like, what, what, what could I do now? Like, what other choice would I? I mean, what could I do now? Like, I have the razor. I, now my now my next move was, how could I get this shit out to the yard? Mm. So, because they they pass the machine on you and everything, they go hard and they pat you know you know you've been up you've been sure, there you've sure, been sure. there, so they pat you and they feel your dick and all that yeah. they feel your ass you and know, all that. One time that. they confused me. One time they said separate your uh, dick from your balls, <laughs> and I was like I don't know why I just had like a dumb moment. I was like what the fuck like what do you I don't even know what you like I didn't know what the fuck he meant. He was like, he's what like the yo fuck? separate your fucking dick and 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 I, and I had to you know grab this shit. Yeah. And I was like, <laughs> nah, <laughs> shit's crazy. Spread your ass cheeks and shit like that. You yeah. gotta show the motherfuckers Cough. your asshole. Yeah. Shit crazy. But what I did, what I, I was like, well, I ain't got no. I, I see. I peek. I already know what it. I've been in the box. I've been you know. I've been in. It's not like I, mm-hmm. I'm a new mm-hmm. jack. So mm-hmm. I'm like, I got this. So I came and I put the razor on my. I I, I put the shit on my dick. Mm. You know, I put it. I, I came and I took the skin on my dick and I put the razor over my dick, nice and gentle, boom. You know, even though I had a little tissue, but it still kind of bothered. Mm. So I still put it over my dick, and I was like, cool. And I and it was like moments before, you know, like he's like like the, the police is like the CO is like on the next door, letting him out first. Mm. So I'm like, I ain't have it there like long. You know, I'm like, okay, he's coming now. Okay, now I'm gonna do it. And it was like, oh, cause this shit was kind of you know, it was Fuck. uncomfortable. It was yeah, it was bothering me. So I was like, hopefully this motherfucker don't go too hard where he'll pat on my dick too hard. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. He should have yeah. cut me and the shot be fucked. So he was like, nah, you know, come on, pat, turn around. I was handcuffed. We went out to the yard handcuffed, and they talking shit. You know, motherfuckers out there like two, three deep. Shut. Mm-hmm. We out here. Shut. Mm. I'm like, I ain't saying no. I ain't saying nothing. I'm just trying to just get sure, out sure. there, get them handcuffs out. And let me get my razor so I could get to what God, I, I do what I gotta do. So that's what happened. I went out there, took the razor out, chased motherfuckers down. Motherfuckers is running. Ah, police coming in. You know, they run down, they run down on me, they beat my ass, you know, put me back in the cell. Oh my god. You know, yeah, yeah, it was a fucking movie, man. Like I got beat the fuck up, you know. I used to get beat up all the time by the cops. Yeah. Police beat me. Every time the police beat me up, I stay in my in my bed for like Two days mm. where motherfuckers be screaming at me, yo, Pitola, yo, pistol, you good? You mean like bruised up? And yeah, shit? I yeah. be fucking hurt as hell. Motherfuckers to pound me out. You, you, you know, you know, it's crazy, man. I ain't never heard nobody put a fucking raisin in their fucking penis, but yeah, <laughs> that shit is a wow, 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 wow journey of uh, the one and only Pistol Pete, man. You know, uh, w- w- when we're talking about fifty, you said shit got real, uh, you know, and thank God that shit didn't get anything crazy, but. He, you know, did did at any point in time, like, you know, did you run into each other? Like, you know, did like Joe run into 50? Or? You know what? We never really ran into 50. Like, it was like they used to try to, you know, they, they try to keep us away. Like, you know, even if we have an event or anything going on, they have 50 coming in last or Joe coming in first. Or this, sure. You know, where we be out the building, you know, or we can't be inside the building if G Un is there. Shit like that. It used to be like like those kind of moves. Now, when when uh 
when um when uh what's his name uh cuz you know I got all for all kind of shit you know uh what's his name that passed away the manager uh Chris Light and let him yeah. rest in peace yeah. you know I know Chris Light for a long time too and Steve was Steve was Steve was my witness Steve you know rebellion. they they called me to G unit you know I go up there they got plats up there you know 50 cents is the man I mean right you know he's so he was 50 sure, cents sure. big you know you know, this is G unit. I'm in G unit's office, and I got a couple, you know, uh, you know, offers and shit. You know, uh, uh, you know, like leave it alone. You know, mind your business. We, we, I know you got the whole KAR movement going on. We'll work something out for you. I hope you all get, a, you know, get a deal for that. You know, get a deal for this. Just mind your business, pistol. Mm. This is between Fifty Cents and, and and Joe. And I was like, you know, I'm sorry. And you know, Chris Lighting, You know, I don't want to be disrespectful. You know, because. I know him and he's dead, but I basically was like, you know, suck my dick. I'm not doing that. I'm loyal to Joe. Mm. You know, I don't give a fuck what you offer me and all this and all that. And that's the way it went. And I just turned it down. And, you know, and Steve was like, that's just the way Pete is. He ain't going to, you know, and that's just the way it went down. Yeah. So, and, um, but uh, uh, um, I finally bumped into Joe when he, when Chris Lighton died and then Joe had to perform with 50 on, on the same set. And that's when everything was like, yo, we're gonna squash, squash the beef and all this yeah. and all that. How powerful was that? Okay. that was... No, nah, it was crazy. You know, it was a little bit funny. Everybody up there not expecting, not knowing what. But the funny shit is that um, I was having a hard time getting inside. Mm. Like the, oh, the, the venue? The, the, yeah, like the security was giving me a hard time. The po- I, I guess they were scheming like, yo, that's supposed to pee. We gotta search him a little bit extra. Yeah, yeah. You know, he's coming through. And I wasn't even deep. I, I was deep, but they was like on the other side. Sure. I was just with me and on uh, Raul, mm. you know, one of my TS brothers. Yeah, so, yeah. so me, so, and I'm like, but I have that thing on me, you know. Meaning, when I say I got that thing on me, I got a knife on me, mm. you know, like a, you know, just a regular blade. Regular blade is like having a nine on me, you know, having a gun, you know, sure, sure. three fifty seven. I'm really nice with the knife, mm. you know. what I'm saying I know how you know I I. I been through super gun battles. You know that you know. guy uh, uh, with the knife, uh, Salt Bay. Did Joe ever bring you to the uh, the, the oh, steak yo, oh, place? Oh, the, the guy that be cutting the meat and all that. Yeah, yeah. Nah, nah, you nah. You find nah. out you like nasty nah, with nah. the knife. I did. I'm nice yeah. with that, but with, you know, with the humans, I guess. God. <laughs> <laughs> but in the event of that one, so uh, uh, um, you know, he uh, he uh, 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 how you call it? So you know, we so, out sir. there. We know we out there and shit like that, and they're giving me a hard time. Here goes 50 Cent's coming through. He's coming through with a whole squad. Yeah. He got his whole team with him. Like, you know, it's like 20 of the motherfuckers. I'm like, all right, I'm like, yo, so I told Raul, well, you know, get ready because, you know, we just never know, you know? And it was all love, man. 50 came, one, one, kept it 100%. What's up? You're a legend. What's up, Pistols? All love. I was like, yo, I was... I was just shocked, really. You know, I'm like, all right, all love. And, and he was like, what's up? And I was like, these niggas giving me a hard time and getting in. He was like, man, we not going in until he goes in. Mm. We all going in together. If not, we not going in, and that's it. And he was like, he told the motherfuckers, and he was like, all right, all right, cool, all right, 50, yo. And they was like, nah, 50 was like, come on, come on, let's go. And I was like, oh, and then we, went, we all went in. Mm. You know, and it was all love. And ever since, 50 has dealt with my whole team, Rich Player, yeah. Joe, and I still haven't talked to 50. We still haven't, never vibed, never talked to him, never sat down and talked about anything, you know. But like I said, you know, it was all love, you know what I mean? So I don't, you know, he, he's good. Yeah, what about Cuban Link grew up uh, in, in your neighborhood or Joe's neighborhood? Nah, he's not my, my neighborhood. Hell, fuck no. But Cuban, at one point in time, Cuban Link, Cuban yeah. Link was my, he was my little man when, yeah. when he was around and all that. You know, like Cuban Link tried to. Sp- Pick on Steve LaBelle. I don't know if really? Steve LaBelle ever told you that story. I don't know if he's going to be quite happy with me telling you this one. But Steve LaBelle, we was at uh, the tunnel, the shit on the West Side Highway, and, and we was all out there, they, and I pulled up, and, and they're like, yo, Pistol, you know, no, I'm sorry, all the security's out there, like, Pistol, I'm sorry, we can't let you in, Cuban Link is inside, we don't want no problems, I know what you're about, blah, 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 wait till we leave, or let us get rid of him, let us kick him out, and all this kind of shit. And we out there, and, and I'm, you know, we out there just 
in the front of, in, the, in the club, in the back of the club, just talking shit. Yo, what's up? You know, girls pulling up, you know, whips and all that. I'm talking, so I'm down there talking to some girls. They pulled up. Yo, what's up? What's going on? You know, you good? What's up? We vibing and all that. Next thing you know, Steve LaBelle is running to me. I'm like, what the fuck? This motherfucker running. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? The brother throwing out this bitch. <laughs> I'm like, Steve. Steve was like, oh. P, they try to front on me. Cuba licking them. It's a whole bunch of them. And this time I was like, fuck them niggas. Them niggas all suck my dick. Where they at? He was like, this nigga nuts. I, I was like, come here, don't want, nigga, we ain't, you staying right here. And Cuban and all of them came and shit. And the biggest guy they had when it was like, oh shit, yo, Pistol, man, you was up north for me, man. Yo, we was in Cub, we was in, yo, in Kasaki together. Yo, remember me, man? This I was like, my man, I'm not trying to talk to you, bro. Like, I don't even know what you're talking about, man. Like, what's up? What y'all niggas want to do? And, and, and Cuban was like, damn, Pete, man, I thought I was your little man. And this, that, and Joe, you know, I was like, listen, man, I ain't going to lie to you. I'm not even trying to hear you, bro. Mm. And you're not doing nothing to Steve, and you're not doing a motherfucking thing, and what y'all want to do? Like, I don't want to talk. What's up? And they was like, no, nah, no, it's not like that. P, you know, you the OG. We don't want, uh, you know, and Cuban was like stuck. He was like, damn, but I was looked up to you. And and I was like, my man, I don't give a fuck about none of that shit, bro. You don't got to look up to me. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I don't even want to hear that shit, bro. You, so, and that's how we kept it. We kept that shit cute. You know what I'm saying? And I and I had my, and I had a hundred guys with me, so it was dangerous. So I was, and everybody was like, you know, like my guys be looking for wreck. Please, yeah. please, please, <laughs> please, please go. You ever see him again? Um, you know what? I probably did see him sometime. I don't know some some other like distance, like you know, from far away, distance shit. He don't come around and all like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, I don't bother. I don't. I mean, I, don't, I I'm not out looking for him or not like that. Yeah, I no, mean, no, for sure. He's he just he's he's over. Who who who's who would you say like to this day? Meaning after all this time is in uh, TS. What happened? The uh, phone uh, on the on the on the yeah, Instagram. I got a lot. Oh, I got the video. Uh, I got the video. Cool. Who who would you say t- uh, today? As of you know, is is, is like forever TS. Like is it is it you know like what do you mean? Like meaning like Cuban Link at one point was TS. I don't know he's not repping that no more. Meaning like who is still TS? Like meaning who is TS? Like for people who don't know how many people are in TS. Well, you got. Shit, it's a whole bunch of us, man. You know, we can't really, I mean, I don't want to mention a whole bunch of them and then I miss one and then, oh, you didn't mention me. Yeah, 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 yeah. forget But it's, it's a whole bunch of us. You know, Rich That's Player. That's a good you to think of that. You know, Rich Player, Raul is, yeah. is, is, is a TS, TSOG. Macho is not in existence no more. Really? Yeah, I so. Oh, okay. Um, uh, let me see. Um, but, you know, you have you have a lot of. Uh, Khaled. Khaled used to I mean, TS, original TS member. Yeah, you know. Um, let me see. Uh, but Raul is mainly like one of the old TS guys that go way back with Joe. Yeah, you know, we, we, we you know, with Flex and all that. Let him rest in peace, Flex. Yeah, uh, that was the manager and stuff like that. But it's a whole bunch. It's a it's a lot of new TS guys too. Yeah, you know, one time Joe used to be real strict about who could wear the TS and who could be a part of TS. Throughout the years, he got real nice. He got real cool with people. He's like, all right, now I see. Guys that I don't really know, I'd be like, "What the fuck is this guy? Like, what the fuck is he wearing that TS chain? Like, let me get that shit." Before, before, <laughs> we, before we went, uh, before we went on air, we were talking uh, with Steve Webell and uh, Scott Storch Scott, on the yeah. Facetime. When was the first time you uh, uh, met Scott Storch? Was that in Miami? Let me see. I don't know where the fuck I met Scott. Yeah, probably Miami. Yeah, Scott Storch. I met him in, in Miami. the uh, illustrious uh, crib. Not in his house. I met him okay. like you know out. Out public, you know, like in the club, yo, Pistol P, Scott Storch, this, that, and um, shit like that. In a few occasions, we you know we bump heads and we hung out, and you know, Scott's family. Yeah, yeah. So we've been in the studio, shit together, and all that. And them, uh, his house is dope as hell. Yeah. You know the house he had in Florida, as I told you. Yeah. He had one of the dopest house, dope, dope car collection. He was. Scott was that guy. Did I mean, you, he's still that guy. Yeah, for know? sure, for sure. He's he's he's, he's can't take nothing away from him. Yeah, yeah he's good. He's focused. Talented, which we, yeah. we 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 love that. He's focused. Yeah. What about uh uh um Joe giving him a TS chain? I think he has a TS chain. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Who who made the TS chain? What jeweler made the TS chain? Um, I think it, it was a lot of quite different ones. Aviani's did a TS okay. chain. Uh, Gabe. I don't okay, know if you know yeah, Gabe yeah. that he's uh Raphael and Colt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Gabe, uh uh shit like that. 
Gabe. Gabe is my man, man. You know Gabe? Yeah, I, I don't know him oh, personally, know him? but yeah, I know Gabe. of him. Yeah. Gabe is a fucking, he's an asshole, but he's all right. <laughs> Now, he, 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 you got too many fucking. Hey, you stories. heard the story with. Uh, what about with, the jewel? Steve said you no, fucking choking a jewel. What the fuck? What do you mean? It was, what do you, what? Oh, no, one time. You know what's crazy? That was another occasion, but Steve was there for another another time that uh, Jilla wasn't minding his business. I'm talking business. You know, we talking, we talking money 40, yeah. 50,000. So, you know, this, that. We arguing and shit. And. You know, you have the fucking young guy over there minding his fucking man. Yo, what the whole oh, fuck that shit? You can't do that. And I'm like, yo, mind your fucking business, bro. Like, what you all over here for? Oh, what you mean? I'm part of this. And I'm like, my man, mind your business. I'm not telling you no more. Mm -hmm. Then I went up to the owner. I said, if he don't, that's your nephew. He don't mind his business. I'm going to smack the shit out of him. And he said something again. And I smacked. And he, they had police there, security, police, undercover. <laughs> I smacked flames out. I smacked him so hard. His glasses flew over there. And that was Gabriel. Mm, the same oh, okay. guy that we talking about. Really? Yeah. That's the one. That's Jay Z's, Jay Z, Beyonce. Everybody's uh, Jilla. <laughs> so are you, are you cool with him? We cool. Okay. We okay. We okay. His cousin that died, they killed, was uh uh, uh was my guy mm. at that Jilla at that spot. Now I, I fuck with Izzy Aviani's. Okay. okay. I fuck with Izzy. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I know these kids. They was like 20, 19 years old. Yeah. These are all forty year old guys now. Yeah. You know, married kids, all type of shit going on. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And how long are you home now? I've been home like 15 years. Okay. 15 years. Would you, you know, you know, you know, uh, you know, uh, uh, not to cut you, but you know, um, cut, don't cut me. You know, uh, you know, Alan Grumblack? You know, Alan? Who? Alan. E1. E1. Alan Grumblack. He's a good yeah. friend of me and Steve. No, I don't think I don't I helped him out before. I helped him out before too. Shook and I went up there and. and to all the tables no, you play, down. What's Steve talking about? Sugar, you pay sugar, Nah, he's the president of an E1. Oh, E1, the, 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 the music. Alan Grumblatt, man. Yeah, 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 I know yeah, you're talking Alan about. Yeah. He, he's the president. What happened with him? Man, he called me one day, yo, please come down here, P. Where are you? Yeah. I'm like, what's wrong? He said, Sugar's going up here nuts. Sugar went up there and broke the deep, deep. Flipped all the tables. Oh God, oh, he went crazy up there. I went up there, I was like, Sugar, what the fuck are you doing, bro? Mm. He was like, man, these motherfuckers are shook. Let's go. And then, that, was, that play, was another time. Steve, Steve did called you play me. basketball Yo. with him? With Shook? Yeah, yeah I played with, yeah, Death Row. How okay. you know about that? Steve told me. Oh, yeah, yeah. I played basketball where, where, with, at, at Death Row. Okay. When Death Row was open and all that, we used to play basketball. I was in Death Row for like a, a week, mm. you know, just hanging out and all that shit. I got, I got some old footage of me and Shook bugging and, he, you know, him having strippers come to the studio and dancing and all wilding and, Having fun in the studio and shit like that. Yeah. You know? You know, we spoke about it off air, but, you know, um, talk about, you know, Joe and, and, and you know, rekindling with 50 and then putting that shit to, to bed. And then you also think about uh, um, um, Jay, you know, and, and how that recently over the past, what, like two years? Or? Yeah, two it's gotta years. It's got to be when, 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 uh, when yeah, it's uh, been like two years okay. and a half. To, how did that shit happen? You know what? I don't know the ends of it, to be honest with you, how it all you know played out. Mm -hmm. But I know we have a good friend of ours, Pekka. Oh, it's Sean Pekka, yeah. Right, so Sean Pekka has a lot to do with that. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, he's a good friend of Joe. You know, brothers, shit like that. And he's obviously worked with, uh, with yeah, Jay Z, yeah, with Jay Z. You know, do a lot of shit with him. So he kind of like put the plug in together and and got to that and. How 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 real was that back in the day though? Was it something that like? Cause you know, keep in mind, a lot of us are just music fans. So it's like you know, you fucking with Fat Joe, you fucking with Fifty. It was kind of like, dangerous, ah, you know. And then think cause you had home. guys they didn't really give a fuck about. Like I wasn't there for the entertainment. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. I was there genuinely just being loyal to my brother. And it's like, I don't care who this rapper is. I didn't give two fuck who the fuck he was. You know what I'm saying? He sucked my dick. What's up, pussy? You know, and diss him and whatever. Do anything <laughs> I can. And I'm sure he had people on his side that were, you know. Yeah, but he was quiet. I know a lot of guys that, that you know, like they they good guys that they down with. A lot of guys, you know, Bonds that's down with, you know. Yeah, yeah. That's down with uh, Puff and shit like that's a rock. I know a lot of good guys, jail guys, you know, D Rock. You know, a lot yeah, of guys. Yeah. I know. I mean, you know, but at that point, it would have got, it could have got real ugly. Because a lot of guys don't really think, like, it's just, like, for instance, I'm Pistol Pete. Now I have to control the guys that go out with me because I have a whole bunch of guys that they all a bunch of street guys and they don't give a fuck about uh, any other rapper or sure. what's popping or anything like that. Or they get, or they, or they see, they, like I said before, they like the horse in Central Park. Mm. All they see is Pistol Pete. 
they don't see you. They don't see nobody else. So if you violate me, then you're in trouble. Mm. That's it. And they don't know no better. They come, you know, they come from Vietnam projects in, in the Bronx, you know, from Cyprus. They come from these areas, and they don't give two fucks about what's popping or what's the rapper. Yo, I'm going out today. Uh, you come, come on, let's go. Man, you got too many uh, <coughs> stories. They didn't documentary. Dog in the yard. Dog in the yard. Dog in the yard. Uh, uh, Tales from the pen. Tales from the pen. You know, there's a lot coming from you. Uh, what do you? But you're home you, consecutively 15 years, or you or you went back a couple of years? No, ago? I went to I, well, I went to jail. I, I, I you know in, in between, I got myself in trouble in Jersey. You know, my son' name is Jersey. Mm, okay. Shout out to Little Jersey. Jersey. Shout out to Little Jersey. You know, what I'm saying Little Jersey in the building, Dice in the building. But um, uh uh. I hate the fucking law. I, I I hate Jersey in a lot of ways. In the, the Jersey and and you know the police in Jersey and all that. Oh, they, they you know I have bad experience every time they stop me. Mm. To this day, they had me on the highway for like three hours the other day. Mm. I'm like, holy shit, what the fuck? Did I Are you just checking your record and shit? Yeah, like that? holy shit, like what the fuck? I don't got shit in this fucking car, bro. Like, you got to be kidding me. And they just come, oh, you pissed the Pete, this, that, this, this, that, and that, that. Oh, let me search that. Oh, a little smell. Just a bunch of thousand excuses. I'm like, my man, please, bro. Just hurry up. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. That's the only. But, you know, uh, 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 as far as, um, you know, Jersey, I, you know, I, I named Jersey. I also love Jersey. You know, it's a love and hate thing. <laughs> you know, you mentioned something one time that really stuck with me. You were like, uh. That a lot of loyal dudes, uh, you know, don't always get like repaid back or get, you know, become big as far as money wise. Like, like, like all the real guy, all the real people just don't. You don't see is is all you see out there is a whole bunch of make believe. Yeah. No, I'm just being honest. All these, all a lot of these rappers, there's all a bunch of make believes. Mm. He's all the front, you know. A lot of you know gangster shit. A lot of everything is all the. It's, to me, it's, it's not it's not real, you know. I just I'm just being honest. Like I don't really, I don't look at these guys as you know. I don't even know half of these rappers. Yeah. And half of these rappers, you know, they come to my party. I throw a party every year. You know, me and Joe, we do it big wherever. You know, live. You know, Club Eleven. You know, we do it at wherever it's popping. That is 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 it. That's why I'm doing my birthday party. I celebrate my party. I celebrate life. You know, I spend a lot of years, a lot of time away. And you know, and I every moment that I can that I can celebrate life and have a great time, I'm going to. Mm. I so, mean, that's what I'm at. So I do that. Yeah, especially after you've been away for so long. Yo, like, I you I do know. that. My birthdays, I do it. Yeah, I'll be fifty this year. Fifty. You know what I'm saying? Fuck. Fifty years old. Yeah. How many kids you got? Seven kids. Seven. Fuck. Seven kids, God one bless, daughter, man. one princess. And six boys. And six man, boys. That's a, that's a, you got a starting five and a six man award, man. Yeah, yeah, I got I got a whole team, man. I got a uh, you know, I got a team. I'm blessed. They're great kids. You know, none of them been in trouble. You know, I encourage them to do whatever they want, whatever they want to be a CEO tomorrow yeah. and do whatever that's on him. I do what you have yeah, to sure, do. Sure. I encourage all that. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't block blessings. I don't, you do what you sure, have to sure. do. You know what I'm saying? I wish my dad would have did that with me. Yeah. You know, even all the other Pistol Pete's, you mentioned this before, like, you know, isn't there one of the Pistol Pete's is younger than you, right? You yeah, know? he's way younger like he's than a, He was with me in jail, too. Yeah. He was at MCC. No, I'm sorry. He was at MDC with okay, me. Okay, yeah. He oh, was feds. In, yeah, in the feds. He was in Brooklyn with me, and um, I was in there with a bunch of his cold defenders and stuff like that, and he came, and he was like, yo, P, I was dying to meet you, yo, friend. you know, it was, yeah, all, it was yeah. all love. He's a stand-up guy. Yeah. Can't say nothing bad about the guy. Yeah. You know? And you've been able to... You know, Crazy thing is you've been able to you know, your your journey is fucking crazy, but you've been able to stay home, you know, change your life around. But there's a lot of things too. Like one of the funny shit you told me is that I don't know if you ever spoke about this, but the 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 porn shit. Yeah, you ever tell? You know, they offered me three hundred thousand dollars to do porn. <laughs> but, I mean, why, but why? But why I I would Steal have jumped in there. You the, know, yeah. you, know, you run around with Steal the Bell, man. You know, Steal the Bell go get that check for you. No, I know, but why don't you? Uh, you know, uh, you didn't want to take. You it? know what? I kind of, I wanted to, but in them it was like, you know who really stopped me from doing, for, that really changed my mind? Alan Grumblatt, the president of E1. Oh, uh, E1, E1, this guy he, again. Yes, Alan told me, Pete, do not do it. You have an album coming out. You have you have to keep yourself yeah, young. Yeah, sure, sure. All the young youth loves you. They all, you know me, they, they, they all look up to you. We don't want you to do that yet. Please, you have an album coming out. 
you know, I, I had an album, Joe Crack, sure, Pistol sure, P sure, Presents, sure. Yeah, yeah. K.A.R., you know, um, uh, I, I, you know, I signed local artists from the street. I could have did the same thing Khaled did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, put, yeah, I could have cheat and got, you know, all the guys, all the known rappers and put them on one song and come out with an album. But I decided to pick up four local regular artists from Brooklyn, from all type, you know, from the Bronx that was on the come up and all that and put them all together and made Kill or Raz. But when you were doing that, KR, they said, and I mean, you, you say if it's true or not, but did 50 offer you a record deal? Well, 50 himself, he didn't, or I didn't get to speak to Okay, st- okay. But Chris Lighting okay, told me, copy, copy, you know, copy. Uh, things will go away. You know, yeah, I mean, yeah. we could, if things go away on your yeah. end and you stop dissing yeah. 50 and you, you know, mind your business, point yeah. black. He yeah. told me, Pete, you mind your business. And I said, I'm not going to mind my business, man. Yeah. You know, I'm sorry, bro. You know, like we all in this shit. <laughs> yeah, and it was like, damn, you know, we could have got you this. I want to do this for you, and I was like, that's all good, but I, you know, I can't can't just buy me like that. Well, I mean, you know? look, there's a lot, there's a lot of things going. Is it possible? I mean, a book's got to be coming, you know. Uh, One million percent. The yeah. name of the book is "A Dog in the Yard." Yeah, and and, and that's gonna be a uh, uh, lookout for that's a the podcast. That's the guy. That's the guy right there. Uh, that's my big brother, uh, 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 Dice, and I'm only mentioning because he. He the one that gave, that gave me the name. Oh, the dog in the yard? The dog in the yard. Yeah. Shout out to Dice. Shout out to Dice. Did 26 years stand up guy. Might be the richest guy we uh, we might own. Pretty soon, pretty, pretty soon. soon. We'll be going out to fucking uh, Mr. Charles with Dice. Absolutely. <laughs> Dice, stop fucking around, man. For real. All right. But um, yeah, man, listen, there's a lot of things coming. What, social media, you fucking you like social media? Yeah, I love social media. What, what, are, what are you on there? Uh, What, Pistol P, uh, Pistol P, K, R, T, S. Yeah. And you you like it? You fuck yeah, with it? Yeah, I fuck with it. Um, I kind of got in trouble the other uh, 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 a couple months ago. Uh, I got in trouble, you know, because yeah. uh, I kind of went crazy on, on on French Montana. Yeah, you know right, what I'm saying. Right. And um, I went crazy on French Montana, so Joe didn't like it. You know, it, you know, because in all fairness, Joe's like, please, Pete, you know that shit. You yeah. know, it's not the right thing to do. Which we just actually finally talked about it after like months. I finally talked to Joe about it, and. French Montana interviewed me before. Yeah. I used to be on a cocaine, whatever. Oh, uh, the cocaine DVDs, cowboy. Uh, C- the, all them DVDs and all. Yeah. I used to be in all that shit. So he's my little man from down the block. I live on Cypress. He lives down the block. I mentioned he lives down the block. He's my little man. He interviewed me for that shit. For that, took me. I took him out the block, showed him, you know, this is the, 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 the where people try to kill me or that. You know, people jumped out with masks at. You know, I, the people try to kill me for I me. Mean, I'm just not pistol Pete and bust my gun anywhere I not go. Not sure, sure. I mean, I get tried on too. Yeah. So, you know, um, and, and and went through the whole interview and all that. You know, and but besides that, he's my little man. You know, he used to be scared for years, running around, scared Macho Joe gonna smack me, you know, because I kind of fuck with Faith D. And, and all this, he used to be, he's a paranoid, scared guy for years. So, and I was always his friend. You know, I was, he's my little man. You know, Florida, he's calling me. He got all this fucking, tons of fucking fake jury and all that. Yo, P, I'm over here drunk. I'm here, could you please take me to the hotel? Yo, let's go get this fucking guy. Just go pick him up, bring him to the hotel, make sure tuck him in. You good? Okay, have a great night, buddy. He said tuck him in. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying for real. And no, then, no, no, I know, I know. And then, now I can't get a hold of you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Now I can't speak to you. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I know there's a lot of politics. You know, and I, I know a lot of people, you know, and I don't, we're going to probably save it so when it gets better, you know, yeah, for yeah. the dog in the yard, yeah, for yeah, anything else yeah. that, but, you know, the truth is, you know, a lot of people in that camp don't really, don't really appreciate, don't really like me. Yeah. So, I, so you know how that goes. It comes, it comes, it comes, it comes, it comes with the change. You know what yeah. I'm saying? It comes with the change. You know, so I, I got, you know, I got, I got, you know, I got a little bit, I guess, just did you did y'all, did y'all did you I don't know. That was yeah. just like on Instagram, like you know, they go suck my dick, you know, and French Montana's a fucking punk, and the whole bad boys are gay, and I went nuts. You know what I'm saying? So things, things, things. So down I probably should have never, you know, went out like that. I should have just kept it at French rather than, you know, sure, sure. When you say, you know, everybody else, the whole bad, you know, we talking about people that it might be sure, cool with sure, me, sure. D Rock. You know, I, it was something that was just. It, I'm just disappointed that somebody that used to scream at me for help all the time, you know what I'm saying? And now I can't. He did a song in a video with me for one of my artists a few years back when he when he popped sure. off, and he's been gone since. So I'm just trying to reach out to him. That's all. I mean, I mean we was able to talk to each other before. I don't see why we can't talk no more. Sure. So that was just it. That's just it. You know what I'm saying? And I don't appreciate that shit because I, I like to get a hold of motherfuckers. If I call you, trust me, it's about something. If I, you know, it's not, 
It's not just to say, hey, how are you? Where you at? What you Where you at? Performing at where? Oh, shit, I'm going to be there right in the front waiting for you. Fuck no. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not, nah, it's not that kind of shit. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I'm a genuine person. I'm a real true motherfucking friend. You know what I'm saying? So it's like when, 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 a, when, I, when a motherfucker do some fake shit and I don't appreciate it, it's like, okay. Now I see where, you know, where we at with it. But it's left alone. Yeah, yeah, Listen, yeah. Joe loves French. I have love for French. I know French for a long time, since he was a young kid. I'm happy for him. You know what I'm saying? No bad blood. You know what I'm saying? We're going to move forward. You know what I'm saying? And that's it. You know what I'm saying? Cool. It God is bless. what it is. Now, now, uh, as we wind this episode down, you... Uh you spoke about you dog know, in the yard. Trying, of course, it's coming soon. Coming, coming soon. real soon. Dog in the yard. You, tells from the pen. You spoke. You spoke about uh, you know how people try to try you too. You, you, you ever have a moment where you like feared for your life? Where not meaning where you always I mean, scared, I got stabbed but where, before okay. I got stabbed, I got shot. I mean, nobody ever asked me that, but I got stabbed before. I got shot before. I mean, people try me on Rikers Island. I mean, I got stabbed in my head. You see it? Yeah, yeah. You know, I got guys stabbed me and shit. Find out that who 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 find out later. Oh shit! You stabbed Pete. He was like, oh shit. <laughs> Whatever the came. He was like, oh fuck. You know. Yeah. At one funny point, shit. at one point in time, they used to call you. I remember, man. I remember they used to call you the King of Rikers, man. And uh, for people listening who may not even know what the fuck that mean, what the fuck does that mean for people listening? Who I mean, I was one of the first predicates on Rikers Island. I kind of like you know shackled up, you know, handcuffed and shit like that. Special little visits. And shit like that from cutting people and stuff like that from running around crazy, taking people's shit. You know, I used to, I I had a system in there. You know, it's just like anything <laughs> anything else. You have a, you you adjust. Sure. So I you know I was one of those guys that you know I adjust and I was like a kingpin in there. Mm. And I said I had a I had a hundred thousand guys. I don't showed a bunch of uh, local gangsters and people that did a lot of time. I I showed a lot of these guys how to put razors in their ass, how to put razors in their mouth, how to spit razors in their hands and they spit them out their mouth. You know, Dice is one of those guys that did 26 years and I, and I, I showed them how to spit the knife, mm. the razors and all that shit. Mm. You know, like, I was just one of those guys that... It was a workshop for the day. Exactly. I was just in there just wilding. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, listen, uh, uh, just a real... First of all, uh, love and blessings straight up. Just a real stand-up dude. Uh, a lot of your journey is crazy, uh, but you're really a good dude. Like, you know what I mean? Appreciate you, it, yeah. man. You know, it's like there's not a lot of dudes that uh, uh, have longevity that long. Yeah. Uh, that kept it real So it's either You know If you're going after somebody It's for a reason Or it's for your loyalty I, I, you That's know? it And uh, it's still good to see You know Obviously you and Joe And, and the whole Be TS beautiful and The TS it's still a family, here It's a brotherhood We still here We still standing strong You, know, you got Like I said Possibly a book uh, Possibly I think uh, Some shows We got shows, some a bunch of shit some, We definitely getting some, We definitely getting the show Tales from the Pen Is definitely happening Dog in the Yard Is happening You know We want to show the youth You know me That sure. Joe is not what it is I know that we talking about it And it sounds like all good and exciting and all that, but at the end of the day, that's not what we want for the youth. Well, uh, look, I, 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 I have had my time where I was away, and, and, and we spoke about this off air and even on air. So it's like you know, look, there's double a lot, P. There's a, yeah, there's a lot of stories. There's a lot of stories that 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 are being told, but. Look, if you don't got to learn this way, you know, you don't have to go away. You don't have to do 17 years. You know, Absolutely. you don't have to do, you know, it, 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 so so that's another thing, too. Like, like being able to, like, show someone, like, oh, don't make the same mistakes I made. I'm getting people that's, I'm, I'm going to, and, and the dog in the yard, we're going to get, if you did two days in, 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 mm. in jail, if you even went through the. Central book, booking? Exactly. There you go. Yeah. We're going to get you. Say no more. Because you, you have something to say. You have an experience. You have something to share. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's what matters. Cause that's what matters for the youth. That's what that's what we're trying to do. Trying to spread the, trying to spread the, the message. Well, listen. Don't go crazy on Instagram. Relax. we got a lot of things popping off. Absolutely. The one and only, the legendary, Pistol Pete. Thank you, man. Thank Cheers. you for having me. I appreciate the love, man. My brother. Double P in the building. Oh, you already yeah. know. P, I want that. Double. Uh, you brother. like that? When we together, we got to say double P, man. Double that was Mr. P. Double P. The, <laughs> the only dude I know that p p put a raisin in his fucking penis. Ayo. <laughs> Peace K -A out. Peace out. Peace. Internet. Cheer. Internet, if you enjoyed that episode, then hit me up. That's right. Email me at thepremiumpshow at gmail.com. Again, that's thepremiumpshow at at gmail.com. If you're an advertiser, any big company, small company, startup, whatever it is, you want to advertise on the Premium Peep Show, hit me up.
email the premium Pete show at gmail.com and we'll we'll get to working okay and if you have a suggestion or you want to hear a certain guest on the show whatever it is okay you know you could at premium Pete at premium Pete show on Twitter or Instagram or for the last time I'll tell you well I'm not gonna it's not the last time email me the premium Pete show at gmail.com and let's get to working cheers